Hey folks, welcome back to Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Where barbecuing is a way of life, folks. We all know that. Today we are going to be making an old school smoked brisket burger from 1985 that my buddy used to sell out on his food truck. Okay. This is the second best smoked burger you'll ever make in your life. You're probably wondering who's number one. Well, of course, that'd be Grandpa. Grandpa made the best smoked burger in the world. But unfortunately, he would never give us the ingredients. Ah, but this one, in an old school tape, I'll bring you down and I'll show you what we're working with. Hey right, folks, let's see which bowl we need today. We'll get rid of this bowl. We're going to put all this stuff in here. But here we are. We got us a, what they call a competition brisket. Flat, it's part flat. And part point. Point and flat, really small, weighs in about five pounds. I picked this up on a reduced sale, only like seven bucks. It had to be cooked now or frozen, but I figured what the heck would be a good thing to turn into a smoked brisket burger. I have not done a smoked brisket burger on my channel. Alright, let me get things set up here, folks, and we'll get going. Alright, folks, now this ain't your ordinary. Now, if you have brisket trimmings, like most of us do, you can do the same thing, but just, you know, the routine. Trim her up to fit whatever size grinder you got. But this time, we're going to cut these into chunks. Now, this is still partially frozen. That's why it's trimming so nice. Alright, like that. Now I'm just using my small tabletop grinder. I'm not breaking off the big one because that's super hard to clean for just a few pounds of meat. <clears throat> well, you get the idea, folks. I'm going to go ahead and cut all this up. We'll put it in the bowl and we'll get back with the rest of the ingredients. Hi, right, folks. Now that we got it all cut up and do chunkies, fit the grinder. What you'll need is about a half a cup, three quarters cup of water. All right. and some kosher salt. We're gonna add three tablespoons of kosher salt. Now if you're using non-iodized table salt, use about oh, a half a teaspoon to a three quarters teaspoon of salt. For this kosher salt, we're gonna use about three tablespoons. So there's five pounds of meat. <clears throat> All right, so we got that right in this measuring cup. Now what you want to do is stir this up really good until the water is somewhat not cloudy anymore and the salt is all the way dissolved. We'll be back when that happens, folks. Hi, right, folks. We got that pretty well dissolved. Now to that, you'd like to add about a tablespoon and a half of just your regular, regular black table pepper. Stay away from the Stay away from coarse pepper. Just use the stuff you use on the table. Ground pepper. Stir that up really good. Now we're going to dump that right in here. Alright. Shake that all out good. Here's the fun part, folks. We get to play with our food. We're going to glove up for this. We're going to mix all that in. And that meat will absorb all that water, salt, and pepper. Mix that up good. Let's see if I can get another glove on. We're going with two gloves, folks. Alright, this is an old school recipe from the 80s. You ain't gonna find this recipe in no Google search, folks. <clears throat> Alright. Get back in there. Alright, get all this mixed up really good. Now we wanna set this in the refrigerator overnight, if possible. Let that soak all that up. Alright. We'll see you either in the morning or later today, folks. I'll let you know how it looks. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, guys, been sitting in the refrigerator for a good seven, eight hours. It's still nice and chilled. Soaked up most of all that water. Kind of like a dry brining a steak or something. We're dry brining a smoked brisket burger, folks. Alright, this is the part where it's going to get a little noisy. We're going to run it through the 
coarse grind first. Well, grind it twice. You always grind your burger twice, folks. But only people only grind it once. It doesn't stay together, crumble all apart. Here we go. Play a little music while this is grinding. Alright. I'll find some good music for you. Here we go. Alright guys, <clears throat> in about 30 minutes, I had this in the refrigerator, make sure it's cold, check it all the way around, <clears throat> it's about 33, 32 degrees folks, oh wait, you can't see it, there you go, let me hit the hold button, chef temp for the wind folks, can't beat this little chef temp pin. Hey, my viewers can see how cold that meat was. All right, we're gonna grind this through. It's 32 degree meat, nice and cold. Time to play some music. Don't worry, folks. I'll find you a different song for this one. We got the hamburger plate in. All right, and away we go. Alright, we're going to make half pounder. I'll show you how I do it. Got the little open country scale. You can pick this bad boy up at any one of your big sporting goods stores. It's about 20 bucks. I've had this for God knows 10 years. Still works excellent. Alright, I got this little hamburger patty press. You pick these up at the big box store. Got a dial on it. Set it for a half pounder. Alright. Half pounder, eight ounces, folks. Monster smoke burger from old school. I'm gonna tar that out. Yeah, right, here we go. Ah, right, there's eight ounces, folks. I'm gonna take that, make a little bit of a ball. Don't want to handle it too much. Put it in the old press. Let's cover this up with paper. It makes clean up a lot easier. So push it towards the back. Pull it up. Reposition. Ah, give it a good press. Or you can make it by hand, folks. Whatever you want to do. There we go. We got us a nice half pound burger, folks. We're going to put that right there. I'll go ahead and make the rest of these up off camera. And we'll be right back and show you how we're going to season these up. Mm -hmm. Alright folks, welcome back. We got our burgers pressed in with 8 ounce patties, half pounder. My grandson, or my granddaughter, Nala. Yeah, my channel is all about family. Alright. Okay. Uncle. Yeah? What do you think of grandpa's burgers? Smoked half pounder. You like them? Yeah? Huh? You impressed? You're not too impressed? Alrighty. Okay, let me get her out of here and we'll season these bad boys up. Say bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Ah! We are just going to put lightly kosher salt. And just a little 
little coarse black pepper, folks. Not a lot, because it's already been seasoned throughout the inside. Hey, we just do both sides. You get the point. Put them back in the refrigerator. I'll see you outside at the smoker. All right, bye, folks. Hi guys, I got this baby fired up after six months of winter, stuck in the snow. Fired right up. The old smoke fire, sure puts out the smoke, do it? I think that's why they call it the smoke fire. Alright. Put them uh, smoke burgers on there, folks. Smoke brisket burgers. Yeah, folks, I go get them. Alright guys, smoke boost is activated. About 185 degrees. We're gonna put our smoke burgers on here. They've been in the refrigerator hanging out. They're nice and chilled. I have to make room for all of these. We are running the hickory charcoal pellets. You can call them for in the inside the smoke fire. I've been using that little pit boss all winter. We finally got a decent day here in Wisconsin. Get more cooks on this. All right, we'll be right back, folks. We're gonna run these up to about 120 degrees, 110, 120 internal. We'll bring you right back. All right, guys, let's check that temperature. Using the old mighty chef's temp, folks. Oh, damn. Looking for about 110 in this smoky environment. That one's at 95, see? I used the hold button. Chef temp for the win, folks. Try another one. around 88 86 folks I want the 102 <coughs> must be a little hotter on those ends I want 78 a little hotter on here I went ahead and put the Grill grates in here. When these get up to about 110, we're gonna fire this baby up to 450. Perfect grilling temperature. We'll finish them off on the grill grates. Plate them up. Yeah, right, see you soon, folks. Where's my chef temp? Oh, there it is. Stuck to the side with a magnet. That's what we got going, folks. Oh, yeah. That one reached 112. We're good. That was almost a hundred. I think it's safe to take these off. Fire this baby up. Black stuff falling off my lid. Look how firm these are. Nice and firm. Yeah, let's take this out of there, folks. Set that down here. Put this over here. We will fire this up to 450. Okay, we'll be back when this reaches 450 degrees, folks. And we'll sear them off, bring them in the house, and plate them up. Bring it right back. All right, guys, we're up to temp. 450. Now, how many uh, color grills do you know put up that much smoke? Beast, folks. 
We'll get that about one minute. Then we'll rotate it. One minute and rotate, folks. All right, folks. We've we'll been one minute. We're going to pick these up. Rotate them over here. There, make them look pretty. Woo, it's hot, brother. All right, let's do one more quick minute, then we'll check temperature. All right, folks, I think we're ready. Let's get an internal temp. Twenty-four. Started this cook outdoors, sort of. Let's finish it outdoors. Beautiful day here on Skies. I don't get out here much. And it's turned down to the burgers. There we go. Let's plate these babies up. One of them, anyway. Alright, folks. Let's take one of these cheesy burgers. Put it right here. Now we got this. Mayo, sour cream, roasted garlic, horseradish, and blue cheese. We're gonna put on here. This is so good. Got this from Griddle with Johnny recipe. I'm gonna do like a coast to coast thing on here. There we go. Get this out of the way. Killer or what, folks? There we go. Back that up. <laughs> Sun's so bright, I can't see what's going on out here. cheese, sour cream, mayo, pork radish, garlic, sauce on it. Let's cut open it. There you go. There you go, folks. Nice little juicy burger. Look at the juice pouring out of that thing, folks. Wow, that looks amazing. Only thing left, folks, go in for a bite. Ah. Mm. That is a perfectly seasoned burger all the way through, folks. Just salt and pepper. 
that garlic sauce. That damn good, folks. Yeah, next time. Peace out. Scotty's back there barbecue. Barbecue the way life, folks. Peace out.